what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Yasmin here and guess what? I just worked out with a hole at my crotch in my new-ish active wear. Right down there, there is a hole in my active wear. So today's episode, I am going to be talking to you about how to choose your active wear that is going to last you the long haul. So I've spoken about this previously in relation to goals and ways in which you can stay active and motivated to work out. And one of those ways is it is unnecessary for you to buy the latest and the greatest active wear. But if it makes you feel really confident or if you don't have any active wear at all and you need to get started, then by all means, get some new active wear. For me personally, I buy active wear once a year. I usually buy it when it's on sale and I buy a few sets that last me at least for a year minimum. I've got some sets which are still really good to wear. Like I have a whole bunch of, you know, really good quality ones that I used to wear and I've had them for like for ages. Ultimately, it is about how you care for your active wear and, you know, definitely don't use the dryer on them. Like wash them and hang dry, especially if they have the embellished logo on them because the dryer can melt that and also you're going to be better for the environment if you are air drying them rather than use putting them inside a dryer so I got this a few bunch of I got like literally five sets of this particular brand I don't want to say what brand it is but it is a brand that has taken the world by storm. It has a really big um, social media following on there and it's pretty much online marketed. I have heard that this particular brand is available for sale, although in Target in the US, that is not the case here. So it arrived and it arrived each item in a plastic packaging, right? Which I wasn't very impressed about either, but that's how pretty much everything comes that is manufactured very poorly. So they arrived like that and I was like, oh my gosh, I really just thought I would see what all the rave is about. Like I'd heard good things about them. I'd heard they're really great. They looked really great. As an influencer, I thought, you know, this would be really great for me to like use in my social media posts, you know, because it looks really good. And previously I just didn't, you know, it was more about comfort and practicality and longevity rather than its aesthetic appearance. So they arrived and I thought, oh, okay, you know, like they look cute. They look really great. And I've done posts in them literally four weeks in and I haven't worn every single set. I have worn three of the sets, um, the blue one, a pink one, and a light purple one, and the quality is absolutely garbage. Literally one month in, I can actually see the wear on them. I'm gonna show you just something right now. There is balling and pilling on the right side as well as on various sides wherever it has any friction. The stitching came loose in various areas of the stitching. So, you know, there's pilling on the side. This isn't just one pair. This is quite a lot of the pairs. Um, and I have some other like loose tracksuit ones, which are all starting to ball on them. The color is fading very, very quickly. I've got a hole in the crotch in this one. Um, a pulling like in the stitching is coming loose in one of the legs. Like this is not quality. Like this is absolutely terrible. And I paid for these five sets about $150 Australian, including postage, which you know what? Great, very inexpensive five pairs, but that was 70% off on Black Friday sales. If I had paid full price for these, I would be ropeable. But my whole point is, is that I am changing to low waste, zero waste, and being more sustainable. So the fact that these are not lasting for the long haul, and that they will end up in landfill, and they are a very high synthetic fiber product, doesn't sit well with me. So today I am I have decided to pretty much like share this all of you and go back to what are my favorite all-time brands of active wear are. Now for that $150, I could have got one or two sets on sale of one of my favorite brands. In fact, I brought three pairs of leggings on sale last year by one of my favorite brands and that is Two Times You. Now Two Times You is a usually and predominantly a compression brand and I also like them if I'm air flying instead of wearing compression socks. A lot of athletes often when they are flying will wear compression garments. I also like compression during legs a day. It does make you heal faster. So Two Times You, I honestly have had really great customer service from them. They have out, you know, shops where, you know, in various countries and online. Um, I very much like their brand. The other two brands that I really particularly like is Lorna Jane. I have Lorna Jane leggings that I still have from literally four years. 
I still have them for years. Now they are worn now, like they're not as obviously new looking and whatever, but this is going from four years of regular wear. So long, like Lorna Jane, and the other one is Lululemon, which is also on the same quality as Lorna Jane. You can also find really good sets in the tops and the bottoms with that, and matching just as cute as those other hyper marketed fashion throwaway kind of ones, which are all like like pretty much spawning all the internet at the moment. I'm not going to name any brands as I've just already said, but there are a whole bunch of them out there, and even influencers marking their own wear labels with very cheaply manufactured products and companies and yeah they might be really cute prints yeah you might feel cute in them because they are matching but let me tell you this that the other brands like Lorna Jane and Lululemon often have really cute sets but they are a much better quality if you're down on the budget end of the line no word of a lie I have these stirrup pants that I brought for five dollars a pair on sale at H&M no word of a lie. And these leggings, literally I've had for a very long time and they are super comfy, super thick, and I still have them and they are still fine. Look, they are not active wear leggings, so they are not suitable for like leg stay or yoga or anything where I'm moving my legs in a, you know, in a lot. But if I'm doing any upper body exercises or anything that isn't requiring much squatting or moving, going for walks, um, they are really really great in fact i have had other leggings that i've bought for a much cheaper price as well and they have stretch in them too and they are a thick fabric and they have lasted me for a very 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 long time to the point that when i just they wore out a little bit then they went on to a charity like you know, the salvos or anything like that because they were still able to be sold and worn off and, you know, donated to a secondary outlet. As far as these co, these cheaper products, it's just terrible. I mean, just thought I would jump in here and give you a little update. So I emailed the company of this activewear um, and I have all of the bags that these actually came in. So each item was actually sent in these plastic bags so like unresourceful but anyway so I told them how disappointed that I was and I sent them photos and I'm they did offer me a replacement of the ones that had the hole in the bottom and I said actually I don't want a replacement like if it happened to one and it's going to happen to the others and considering the quality of everything that I got is really poor then giving me a replacement isn't going to fix anything or change anything. I want to return all of it and my money back. So I am a little bit over the 30 day return period. Um, so I am waiting back to hear if they're going to give me my money back. So hopefully they do. So I had an idea that also there is an Australian brand called Black Milk and Black Milk was so popular back in the day. I had a pair of their leggings. They're really thick, good quality latex. They last for ages, but they also now have an active wear brand. And the reason that I like Black Milk is because it is Australian made. So I'm supporting local business and manufacturing. And if it is made locally, then it will be of a better quality. I know I used to have their leggings and they last a very long time. So I am considering also in addition to like adding them to my list of who I really like in activewear companies like the Lorna Jane, the Lululemon, the Two Times You and the Black Milk Clothing. Black Milk also do ship overseas. Um, so I'm probably going to get a few pairs of each and then just review everything individually. So stay updated with that and I will let you know if they take this junk back.